Good morning, Birdie Vikings. Today is Friday, February 27th. Day, I mean Monday, sorry. Day, February 27th, day 2 a.m. of the fine arts schedule. You may stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, in the visible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We wish a very happy birthday to Gianna S in fifth grade, Whitney B in third grade, and Victor A in fourth grade. Happy birthday, happy everyone. Happy birthday, guys. Motivation Monday. Remember to always be kind. Now, what are some ways that you could be kind to people? Hold the door for someone. Yes, you can hold the door for someone. You can emphasize what they're going through. If they're going through some, like... Pain. Yeah, yes, some painful things or any sad things that may be going on, you should emphasize with them. Today's national day is National Pancake Day. Do you like pancakes or do you like waffles more? To be honest, waffles are supreme to no, pancakes. No, no. Okay, I get the argument. Oh, they have those little holes in them. Though. It's not about the little holes in them. It's because you can put syrup on them and they taste exactly. so delicious. Exactly. Everybody, pancakes are fluffy. You, if you want holes in them, just use a knife and then just like carve out the holes like just a pumpkin. Okay, okay, sound argument. Multiple choice Monday. Where did spaghetti originate? A. Italy. B. Mexico. C. Bean World. Or D. Sri Lanka. What do you think? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Italy or France, but I'm pretty sure it's Italy. And it's A. Italy. Uh, you were holding that mouth, right? The entire time? Uh, hey, it's Italy. I knew that. Yes, you certainly did know. It was just stuck somewhere in your Cornelius head. Washington was a sanitation worker who was very proud of his work that he did in the city, and he loved to clean and connect with other people. His efforts were very uh, help, helped lots of people, uh, and lots of people helped him perform his job. And when Hurricane Katrina devastated the city he loved, he got back on his route to help clean up the damages. Viking news, the character theme for February is respect. Now, what does a respectful Viking do? Any ideas? Uh, a respectful Viking is always kind to his fellow peers. Mm -hmm. He is also always kind to yes. people who are not his friends. They, they're kind to the teachers. Another way of respect is to say thank you to the lunch lady when they serve you food because getting food is so, it's a blessing these days. Yep. Brain bowl question of the day. Now it's time to put your brains to the test. Is is tofu a tof tofurkey? Tofurkey, thank you. Is it made of turkey or tofu? Both, right? I I'm pretty sure it's made of both because it's like a combination between the two words, Yay. right? And it's made with only tofu. Huh? That was tricky, guys. World news, SpaceX Dragon capsule was scheduled to launch today. Did you see it launch? It was scheduled to launch at, on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from pad 39A at 1.45 a.m. That's like in the morning, like after midnight. It will be kicking off the company's Crew-6 mission to the International Space Station, or ISS, for NASA, or the National Aerospace and Space Administration, I, I believe. <laughs> Viking sale. Viking sale books can be earned by your entire class, and when you get ten, I mean twenty, sale of these sale books, five each of them are over five dollars. Then you get a hundred dollars, and then you can tell Saliaga, and you get a chance to spin the prize wheel. Ooh, prizes, happiness, yes, fun, prize. prizes and fun. And announcements for today. We have Girls That Can Code, Elementary Art Club, National Junior Honor Society, which we are also two proud members of. We also have Gross Out Science and Sale Committee at 2.30. Two. How awesome.
for Viking Day. And remember to be kind to others. Bye. Bye.